My name is Tosin Ajibade, popularly known as Olu Spa Girl, and um, I am the creative director for the Olu Spa Girl brand, uh, the convener of the New Media Conference, and also an author. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is I pick my phone to see what's happening or what has happened. You know, so, uh, and once I start scrolling through my through my messages on the phone. Uh, my day starts on automatically, so it's not like, oh, um, yes, other things will follow. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's just because of the way the world is, you know, the phone first, and the day starts. Um, I would say it was boring. Kids nowadays are enjoying it. For me, it was boring. And um, I, was, I was an introvert, you know, so uh, I usually used to keep it to myself. I don't talk to people. I think if I talk to you, she just, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but I was really not that free with people, so I couldn't even express myself as a young girl. In school, oh God. Oh my God. You know, I, I don't want to go, I really don't want to go into details. Like, I was just more or less like the odd person. I was never out there. I, I never liked myself out there, you know. But if you look at it today now, I'm I'm actually the more now, you know, controlling everything. Even my old school friends are like surprised that Tos, is this the same person that you've had? Like, you know, when you're talking about like, girls who have boyfriends, you won't find me there. Talking about cliques, you won't find me there. Like, so what was I doing basically? More or less like reading and then also spending time with my juniors. My you know when you have the school mother, school daughter, school son thing, then I was more or less like uh, more into my work when I was in school. I was actually the social, I was actually the host of preference for the junior um, class. So, um, as the first child, everything good or bad falls on me. So, uh, regardless of whatever my siblings do or whatever it is that is you know, be, maybe done, maybe before my parents, you know, get back home and all. I still, they will still ask me, so what happened? What happened? What happened? So I'm, I'm actually, so they put me in a position whereby I am responsible for anything, anything in the house. It also helped me plan ahead, like, um, in, in case I need to do some things, in case I need to get some things, I plan, I start, I start planning, you know, so it also helped me in my business. So when it comes to, Maybe content creation or ideas or story ideas that might just come up or anything that we need to do. Maybe prepare for an event or prepare for a show or something. Planning comes first. So we need to plan how we're doing this, how we're executing, what are we doing exactly, how we're we doing this. So all of that has actually helped me in my business, you know, positively. Okay, so I think when I was 13, I said to myself I was going to write a book. But I didn't know when. So because uh, most of the books that I read were more of people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 60s, they're a little bit older, so I, I said to myself then that maybe when I'm 40, 50, 60, then I'll write a book, you know, but um, <clears throat> everything changed in between and um, there is a story to tell, so I decided to write my book to talk about my journey, you know, talk about my story, and now everything all started because at the end of the day, um, the old digital space has actually changed for the past 10, 15 years, basically. Technology is taking over, everything is really happening fast. And uh, for me, I for one, I've, I've built a business off the same platform. You know, it's successful at, at that for years. Um, I'm still pushing it. Uh, we, just, we just launched this month, so I'm still pushing it. And uh, for, I mean, for so far, I've, I've received a lot of support from people especially women and um, authors to women, women who wrote books, you know, in Nigeria. And it has, been, it, has been, it has been a good experience for me. First of all, this is my first time. And it's something I've not, I mean, this is my first time writing. And um, so the whole experience is just new for me. And I'm just taking it in, learning also along the line, because there are a lot of things I had to learn, you know, putting the whole book out there and all. The, the book was just to talk about my journey, talk about um, uh, how I evolved in the whole social media space, how everything all started, which was why in the first chapter of the book, Supergirl as a Child, 
So everything was just, you know, coming in between. I think YouTube, we joined YouTube in 2012. So everything was just, you know, coming in between. So the whole essence of this is just to uh, evolve, like everything was just changing. So move with it, move with the change, move with the trend. You know, if you don't move, you don't act fast, you have, you, you, I mean, you'll be left, you know, behind. So everything was just moving gradually. Now look at it today. Now videos are now king. Like content now is now king through videos. So nobody's reading again. Nobody has that time to read. People don't even read captions anymore on Instagram. You have to still summarize the summarize the whole caption. Some will say, oh, somebody should read that and explain to me. And I'm like, so what, what are we doing exactly? So everything is just changing. So a lot of people are actually into this business today, and they're always like, oh, Lori, super girl, how did you do it? What, how did you? come up with the name, how did you know that? So I said, okay, fine, I'll put everything in a book. I really wanted something for myself. I wanted something different from the next person. So what I did was, I, I started writing out the things that I like, the things that I love. Colors from colors to names to the things, just anything that I like. So from colors, blue, purple. Um, what do I like? I love royalty. I really, I, I admire Ishan, I love royalty, like I admire them. So I said, okay, let me just give myself Ulluri. Then the name Ulluri came. So purple also represents uh, royalty. So everything just merged, you know, at that point. Then Supergirl came from the cartoon, the popular cartoon Superman. And back then in my office, if, because we were into production, magazine production, so for every content that needs to go to production, it has to be submitted before the 15th of every month. So for everyone in the office, you actually manage to actually create at least three or four page content. So for me, my own job was to create um, page three, five, like page three, four, five, six, and then submit to the editor. So before you know it, boom, Tosin has submitted. Boom, Tosin has submitted. So it's one you like, okay, so how do you do your job? How do you do? It's the same thing, it's the same office, you know, so our boss then will just give us where to go to, what to do, and then just create something for the next um, edition and then submit. So one of my um, colleagues then gave me the name Super Cat. I don't like cat, so I changed it to Super Girl. But honestly, the Superman thing, you know, they gave me that name, oh, because I, I actually submit my work uh, on time, I do this on time, blah, blah, blah. So they, so I just said, you know, merge the two together at the point. I didn't like the name until it got stuck and then I said, okay, fine, this is it, finally. But, you know, it's sweet. Hello, it's so good. Everybody's running their race. That's the honest truth. You understand? And before I even started blogging, I didn't know about Linda, I didn't know about Bella. Like I said, so the same day the guy told me, oh, open a blog. You can open a blog for free, blah, 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 and all. And that was the first time I got to know about, you know, them. But I, along the line, if you look at every brand, they're all different. Even if you look at other brands that we have out there today, everybody is different. So everybody has something to offer. You understand? So it's basically running your race, doing you. As long as you have a vision for yourself, you have a vision for your brand, you have a vision where you're taking your brand to, Stay focused and you're determined. And you're making sure that as, as the more time you fall back, you're also making sure that you, 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 you come back up like immediately. <laughs> you understand? So as long as you're not chasing shadows, uh, you know you're, you're, you're doing your, I mean, you're really focusing on what you're doing. You definitely get to where you want to go to. So everybody's running their race. Everybody's doing what they can do. Everybody's focusing on their niche. Everybody's doing what they can to get to where they want to go to. Thank you.